Hello! Hello! And welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. If a salamander loses an arm or a leg, it can grow a new one. If we lose an arm or a leg, we're shit out of luck. However, if you're a child and you lose the tip of your finger, it may just grow back. Fun Fact Friday, week 107. Children can regrow amputated fingertips. We are superhuman. At least children are. They have... Super taste buds! Over 30,000 of them, which is three times that of a normal adult. We unearthed this fun fact way back in week 11. They have super strength. We've looked at how a baby can support their entire body weight whilst hanging from their hands in week 24, when we found out about the highly questionable (laughs) hanging babies from a stick experiment. They have super swimming abilities. Week 80 brought with it the discovery that we are all born with a diving reflex that slows our heart rate and reduces blood flow to the extremities with the added bonus for children below the age of six months that they have the ability to completely close off their airway and divert any water into their stomach. They also have super language as babies speak dog, something we looked at in week 98. (laughs) Now, this week's fun fact brings with it something that appears to be more science fiction than actual fact. Children can, in fact, grow back their fingertips. Now, we're not talking a bit of flesh at the tip of your finger. We're talking about a proper amputation. That's loss of nail, flesh and bone. There have been reports of this strange but awe-inspiring phenomenon since the 1970s when doctors around the world started reporting similar cases in young children. If the amputations occurred above the nail cuticle, there was a good chance that the finger would grow back any lower and no such thing occurred. Now our hair and nails continually grow throughout our lives. They need a little factory of cells at the start to produce them. And this little factory contains stem cells, something we looked at back in week 89 when we discovered that a baby can heal its mother whilst in utero. Scientists see similar things in mice, not just in young mice, but in adults too. As long as there is enough of the nail epithelium left, then they regrow. The nail epithelium is the tissue that lies just beneath the nail. Researchers looking at this phenomenon have identified a population of stem cells that lie just beneath the base of the nail. A small population of self-renewing stem cells that sustain the nail's continuous growth. The continuing growth of our nails depends upon signals made by the stem cells called WNT. WNT proteins can orchestrate growth all over the body and is known for coordinating the formation of limbs and some organs during a baby's time in utero. The researchers discovered the process that's undertaken to create a new fingertip. It all starts when the nail stem cell signals, the WNT proteins, attract nerves to the affected area. These nerves drive the growth of other stem cells known as mesenchymal cells that can restore tissues such as bone, tendons and muscles. The whole process relies on the presence of the nail stem cells found in the tissue just beneath the nail. If these cells remain after amputation, then they can trigger the regrowth. If they're lost, then so is the digit. It appears we may still retain part of our amphibian heritage, or is it just another superpower that we are yet to fully explore? Is the key to unlocking our superhuman abilities, regenerating entire limbs already at our fingertips? Fingers crossed. Thank you for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday. Please like, comment and share to show you care. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.